Coach Allen, we'll just go straight to questions for Coach. song over and over again. Um, you know, it's for, we talked at halftime, you know, uh, like I'm, you know, I'm here to like not only hold my guys to the highest standard, but, but more so to like look at myself first and foremost before before I start to point the finger. You know, I got to do a better job of, of uh, getting these guys ready to play. Um, I got to do a better job of helping them with their vision, helping them with their patience, um, just helping them with their overall poise, the execution. Of, of what we're trying to accomplish offensively. And telling the guys, you know, when you play against you know, good teams and solid teams, you know, you, you, you forfeit yourself an opportunity to win a ball game when, when, when you don't get shots at the basket. And sometimes a bad shot, uh, four shots better than the turnovers, then the transition defense is, is off balance and so forth and so on. So, um, you know, we, we got to you know, use this as a learning tool to try to, uh, to try to get better, to try to get ready for a Friday night. Surprised how dominance the right word, but losing by so many after last night's win. Yeah, and if you can use you know whatever words you want because it you know it is what it is. And, and I just thought their their certain sense of or they came tonight ready to play. Um, and it could be a function of the core of that group that um, they've experienced winning before. They know what it takes to win. Um, they're familiar with the schedule and the back to back. And for us, we're trying to learn how to win. Um, you know, we, you know, we play a number of guys, a significant amount of minutes. And, and that uh, this is kind of like their first experience playing back to back weekends. It still doesn't make, you know, give, uh, give you an excuse. But um, it was a, a complete difference in, in just approach to you know, how they came out tonight as opposed to us. It was just that two points for uh, Nelson Henry out of all weekend, just uh, given how important he is to this team, just, just how troubling is that and what you need to do to get him back on track. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I got I got I, I must watch the film and, and try to um, um, see you know, how we can get him in better positions to score the ball, you know, how, if we can cut better around him, um, if, if our body movement is, is sufficient enough or we get him the ball when, when, he, when he's open or is it late. Um, you know, because I do believe when, when he's on the top of his game, he's probably, you know, if not the best one of the best low post scorers in the league. I mean, how much of this loss is a function of just the team's youth and, you know, inexperience? I mean, you already talked a little bit about how some of the guys, it's their first, you know, IV double header, but how much of a factor is it when you are facing that Harper experience? Um, you know, you try to discount as you as you as you prepare for it, but um, it's just, at the back of mind, you can't really you can't really do that only because um, the approach, you know, like winning is a habit, and and, and for us, you know, we've had a number of games this year where we play solid for 30 minutes, or 32 minutes, or 38 minutes. Um, very rarely, you know, I think maybe once or twice this year, where we've put forth a complete effort for 40 minutes. I thought we did that defensively last night. And so um, the difference in, in just their, you know, their posture, their, you know, their focus was evident from, from, from the tip ball. You know, you know, whether, you know, whether we were casual getting the spots or not getting back in transition or not boxing out, you know, you know those things are just you know, maybe I can take a play off here, here or there. But you know, good teams um, don't do that. And we're in the process of trying to learn how to become good. Okay. Is this one of those losses? I mean, it's very cliche, but you guys can take anything away from it. Is it a teachable moment for you? Yes. Uh, we try to look at it like, you know, I, I, I've got my butt kicked before. Um, and I think if you play this game long enough, you'll, you'll experience that maybe not quite often, but you'll experience a number of times. And the key, I think, to it is you know, how do you get growth out of experiences? take a critical look at, you know, how um, you performed, um, both as a coach and as a player, and 
you say, all right, well, you know, what are some of the you know, key things that I can pull from this so that the next time I get an opportunity, whether it be next Friday night, you know, I'm a, I'm a better player, I'm a better coach. And, um, you, know, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I thought it was a really good crowd. You know, we're playing at home, and it's just that, you know, the, the, the lack of competitive spirit um, and the lack of discipline from the start, it falls back on me. But with that you know, being said, um, you, know, you, you have to, you know, in the back of your mind say, you know, this is a journey. You know, we're fairly young. You know, I said Matt Howard, uh, Darnell Foreman, Antonio Renda, Mike, Mike Alger. You know, this is uh, you know, really, you know, their freshman year. Sam Jones, his freshman year. Dylan Jones, his freshman year. And so, you know, outside of, you know, prior to coming into this, this season, Greg Lewis has only played in 39 games in college. You add that with the number of games we've had thus far. So, outside of Darian and, and Tony, you know, you know, these guys haven't been together long enough to uh, um, to to have the disposition to, to go out and then win uh, back-to-back games thus far. And so we'll you know we'll look at it and uh, <coughs> you know use it as something to help us get better. So Lynn get better. Yeah, I think top to bottom. You know, uh, it's you know it's I, you know, I don't I don't think it'll. Anyone will go 14 and up. Um, you know where we're at in that top to bottom range it remains to be seen. But with that being said, you, you got you must come to play every night. It's evident. You know last Saturday, you know, Dartmouth goes into Harvard and you know beat them. You know we come. Dartmouth comes here. Yesterday, you know we beat Dartmouth. And so um, last night's Harvard Princeton game, we more or less came down to the wire. You know um, and we let. Up 15, let one get away at Princeton. So, you know, it's it's a real thin line, and, and I think um, the teams that, that that sustain the right type of focus over the course of an 80-minute weekend, 